Welcome back to Red Dead Online. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm a little late on this particular video, uh, but today we're going to be showing how to get the new secret weapon that's available in Red Dead Online with the uh, the cross promotion of GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Now I'm going to be showing you how to get this in both GTA and Red Dead Online because you do need to get it in GTA before you can actually get it in Red Dead Online, but this is uh, the new specialization of the Navy Revolver, and it's a pretty darn good weapon, and it looks amazing as well. This is a mur- this is a true outlaw's weapon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get it today. Um, so you are going to need GTA to get this. You're going to need to do the murder series uh, within GTA Online right now, which consists of collecting five clues and then killing 50 NPCs with the weapon inside of GTA Online, which will unlock it for free within Red Dead Online. So I do hope you all enjoy this video. We're gonna get into GTA right now, show you all the locations that you need to go to to get this particular weapon, and then we're gonna pop back into Red Dead Online and show you where to get it. So the first location that you're gonna need to go to is in the Palato Forest, and we're gonna do all of these in order so you can get them the fastest way possible. And if we do this in this way, it's not gonna take very long to do it, but do keep in mind we gotta kill 50 NPCs after, but it's gonna be right inside of this little gap here. And um, you're gonna see like this, uh, this lodge. What we're gonna do is go right behind here. And what's really cool about these murder mysteries in in GTA is they're kind of reminiscent of the murder mystery in um, in Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, there's also some spooky sounds around these too. So we gotta investigate this one. Nice bloody handprint. Pretty creepy. There we go. Alright, now we gotta get four more. Next up, you're going to have to head all the way out to Grapeseed. You need to go to this location right here. And then inside of this, like, little uh, barn here, or on the side of it, you're going to find a machete with blood on it. Somebody done got dead. Next up is a pretty creepy one in the Grand Sonora Desert. It's right next to the airstrip, right about here. And in between this tire and garbage bag is a freaking hand. Terrifying. Next up, we gotta go to the Great Chaparral. And you're gonna go right to this location here. And on this wall, the side of the building with the cherry pie um, banner thingy, my boober. Can you find me? Yes, we can. Gonna murder the McShiz out of you. Now the final clue can be in five different locations. I'm going to show off the location where it is for me first, and then I'm going to show all the other locations as well. Now this one is just east, or yeah, east of the previous location. I'm going to go ahead, it's under the bridge here. Excuse me, no, go away, there we go, stupid phone calls. And we've got this creepy van here. Oh, oh good lord. Okay, so that is the fifth location. That's that's very gruesome. I wonder if there's some bodies in there. Oh, no. I'm sick of you sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. I'm not going to lie. What happens next won't be nice for you. Oh, great. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Should I blow up this guy's freaking car? Oh, man. The second location you can possibly find the final clue is going to be right around here. Now, the best way to find this is pretty much make sure you do not have your radio on, turn your volume all the way down for that, and then if you don't hear the audio of the clue in this particular area when searching around, it's not going to be there. The third possible location is going to be near Braddock Pass, uh, so search in this particular area to be able to find the clue. The fourth possible location is going to be near a Ratton Canyon, Cassidy Trail. Make sure just to keep an eye out for that van and the audio. And then finally, the fifth possible location is going to be Lago Zancudo. So apparently at this point, 
the slasher is supposed to spawn and try and kill you. Uh, if he doesn't spawn, you may have to go into a different session and try again. Um, which seems to be the case for us. Never mind, he finally spawned. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of the car, dude! Of course he's a redneck. <laughs> Alright, I was about to exit the game and then he finally spawned. Uh, but we now own the Navy Revolver. It looks like we got it in our hands right now. So all we have to do now is kill 50 NPCs with this bad boy, and we'll be able to unlock it in Red Dead Online. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you where to get it in Red Dead Online. Now that we're back in the beautiful world of Red Dead Redemption 2, we can go to the uh, little shack here just southwest of Valentine. And for those of you that don't know, in Red Dead Redemption 2 single player, there is actually a murder mystery for this particular character. And now his shack is actually available for us to go into in Red Dead Online. Now this is the exact shack that we need to go to to get Lowry's revolver. And I absolutely love these particular weapons. Right now I'm dual wielding... Um, the Navy Revolvers, and I do have a video coming on the best ability cards to use with these particular revolvers. They can be very, very powerful. Alright, so here's the shack. The doors are going to be wide open. Down here is, um, it's actually really cool that we get to see this in single player before we actually encounter it in online. So I'm actually going to check out and see if there's any differences. So like in single player, you can read all of these notes. I was really hoping we'd be able to do it. And online and maybe see some different newspaper clippings and sadly we cannot everything seems pretty similar just as gruesome as it ever was oh we've got a pack of cigarettes down here and there's also a nice new lockbox. let's open this bad boy up see what we got up in her now we have the lowry's revolver let's see is it just as terrible over here oh yeah yep it's still the same all right, Elizabeth Bloom, missing girl. I don't think I remember that uh, that poster being found there. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the new Lowry's revolver. This thing is beautiful. So, the sad thing about these is that you cannot upgrade them uh, and change any of the colorizations. But a bonus of that is my Navy revolvers are fully upgraded. So Lowry's revolver here is also fully upgraded. So that's not going to be something that you have to worry about. Um, because sometimes with these special weapons, they don't have them fully upgraded. But thankfully, this one is. So you're not going to have to worry about that. This will be now part of my dual wielding setup for this. Uh, hopefully we can get another one at some point in time. But I just really like the look of this gun it's gruesome let's see here can we uh toggle the view to see the wording on the other side I, I can't see it but you can see like is that the kills on the end so this might actually tell us how many murders he's been a part of so that's 5 10 15 21 different murders at least with this particular weapon that is a gruesome oh we've got more down here so we got five more Marks, maybe 10 more marks. Oh, wow. Interesting. Let's switch hands with it. So it looks like there's another 20 to 24, maybe 25 on that particular hand. 26. There's been a lot of murders with this particular weapon. Interesting. So your next, that says, oh, wow, there's another 21 on that side. Um, yeah. Interesting. I just like the way it looks. I do wish we could maybe change the, the metal, but I understand why we can't. Uh, but regardless, really great, great, really great weapons we got here. And the best part is it's a fully upgraded weapon that is faux frizzle. So let me know what you guys think about this particular weapon. Uh, right now, just to give you a little bit of a preview of uh, just how good these can be. Let's go ahead and just run back here. They're very, very accurate. They sound amazing. Now, I am using the Gunslinger's Choice, which is going to increase the damage and the accuracy of this particular weapon. And uh, I'm working on a full-blown, just dual-wield Navy revolver build. Because, quite frankly, uh, the, the reload speed on these leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, but the damage output is really nice. The fire rate is really good. And the sound of them is second to none. They just sound beautiful. Whoops. But the accuracy is also 
top notch. Looks like that guy's getting ready to do some, some trolling. Usually when you see somebody up on a roof, it's not good. Let's see if he pulls out a weapon. Oh, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a good boy. It's a Christmas miracle. Um, you can get uh, one shots to the body with this if you're close enough. Let's see if we can showcase that real quick. Of course, there's like no NPCs. Here we go. Our next victim. So basically anything above like the waist is going to be a one shot with these when you're within the effective range of the weapon. Let's see if we can get it from the shoulder. Nah, but usually about uh, like heart, lungs, stuff like that. You're going to get a one shot. If I don't miss, come here, you rascally little stagecoach driver. How dare you? But yeah, I love these weapons. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one.